How's it going, Rick? You're still going to help me with this huge pool party, right? We're inviting everyone. Yeah, sure. I just don't know how much time I'll have. I've been thinking about buying a house lately. Seriously? You? Rick, you love your condo. I know, but I see how much you guys love your house out here in the middle of nowhere, and I want that, you know? Trust me, I know. So what's stopping you? I have no clue where I should begin. I can help you. In fact, you have already completed the first step. You've decided that you want to be a homeowner. You tried out the condo apartment thing, and it isn't working for you. Great. Here's the problem I'm having, though. The economy and cost of housing. If inflation continues to soar, I'm going to have to work like a dog just to live like one. <laughs> I hear you, but it's not that bad. You just have to know what your limit is on buying a house. What can you afford to spend? Usually it's 30% of your monthly income. Is there a way to spend less than that? Sure, there's always a chance you could spend less. You just have to work at finding it. But do you really want the responsibility of owning a home? What do you mean? Owning a house is a lot more than just paying a mortgage every month. You want to have insurance, you need to pay for upkeep, and so on. Wow, I never knew so much went into owning a home. I would love to own that huge 18th century farmhouse up the road. With the land and everything, I think they want close to a million dollars for it all. Let me let you in on a little secret, Rick. If you want a million dollars these days, you might want to start with $990,000. That's the truth. I better aim a little lower. One thing you need to think about is how long are you going to stay in the home? If it's less than five years, you don't need to think about real estate at all. Why not? You have to understand that real estate is a long-term investment. You should never get stuck with a mortgage if you don't plan on staying in that home for a long period of time. That makes sense, I suppose. The next step is important. You need to explore all the options of how you will pay for the home. For example, self-amortizing home loans have a fixed interest rate and have constant payments. What about this adjustable rate thing I keep hearing about? You definitely don't want to go with those. Their rates can fluctuate out of control, and there's nothing you can do about it. Hmm, okay. Fixed rate loans are the way to go, and you can choose between a 10, 15, or 30-year mortgage. The faster I pay it off, the better. You have to stay away from some of those loans. Like I said, adjustable rates, loans with teaser rates, bullet or balloon loans, and loans with prepayment penalties. I will tell you about penalties. Those ATMs are getting crazy. I was being charged $3 for using another ATM that wasn't my bank's, and then my bank charged me. There is a way of losing funds that is even faster than electronic banking. It's called marriage. <laughs> Seriously, though, if you're thinking about owning a home, you should first think about the costs that go with it. Like what? Maintenance, landscaping, property taxes, modernization, and location costs. And that's just for starters. Owning a home is a big deal, but it is a great investment. Sounds like a lot. How can I save money? It's easy. Pay more on your mortgage every month. Pay before you're required to. Try to get the lowest fees possible. Shop around for the best rate and look at refinancing opportunities. Well, you're not as dumb as your wife says you are. Hey, thanks. I think? <laughs>